Hello everyone, this is Artem Somnia on social media and in this video I'm going to tell you the story behind this painting which is La Luna or the moon So a couple days ago I did a really quick digital sketch that you see on the right I actually I thought of an eye and I was like I'm gonna have a stag beetle holding the eye and oh I want to put a skull in the eye and I made the whole thing red I actually wanted the eye red and at the very end I decided to make the beetle red uh, because it reminded me of the lobster in the in the moon tarot card and so I thought it was kind of funny it's like a red stag beetle instead of a lobster holding an eye with a skull and then I thought of oh why don't I just draw the stag beetle holding the moon and the stag beetle I decided to not make it as red as a cooked lobster since raw lobsters are not bright red so I used a reference photo and painted it according to the reference photo. While looking online, I found out that there are different types of stag beetles or leucanids, like a couple thousand or several thousand or more. And the so the image I painted is of the Lucanus elaphus. And it's kind of a brownish, reddish tone. And after um so there's that and with the moon i decided to put the skull in the moon because when i put the skull in the eye the red eye it was looking funny like the image looked better if there was no skull in the eye but i insisted on finishing the digital image like by, by keeping the skull in the eye i could have just like made that layer invisible not visible but i just really wanted the skull in the eye and the digital image turned out kind of odd looking I, to me it was kind of silly because the eye would have looked better without the skull in the center the idea seemed cool but it didn't turn out really well and for this one i drew the beetle and the moon and then i realized oh that moon looks way too small for the and i thought maybe if i adjusted this digitally i'd make the moon much bigger and the stag beetle much smaller which um, at the end of the video, this video, you'll see an animation and also an adjustment I did. I ended up not making the moon really big for the animation. I just fixed some proportions in the skull because I painted very roughly and w without a sketch underneath it. And I have painted a lot of skulls but they don't always turn out perfect if I don't have a a sketch underneath and well they don't even always turn out perfect even if I have a sketch I know the general and I also have a reference a medical model skull and it I was looking at it but I was painting very roughly and kind of quickly I wasn't trying really hard to get everything correct so at the end when I looked at my image I realized that the eye sockets are way too small the eye sockets and nose sockets are way too small so I adjusted it digitally and you see me rotating this oh as I paint because it's actually easier for me to paint in a certain direction or move my arms and hands in a certain direction so I will rotate the paper around and just move it and stuff and I kept the palette really simple. Lately, I've been using a lot of warm tones, and I see. I feel like there's a pattern in the things I paint, and that I keep painting candles and warm things. And I guess, well, I do like fi fire and things that. I think things that are very warm or bright, bright stand out a lot. Thank you for watching my video. Let me know if you have any art questions and like and subscribe for more videos. And here's the animation and later.